So I wanted to make this video about Lands in Love because I really couldn't find that much about it online. Now Lands in Love is right in between La Fortuna and SJO Airport, about an hour and a half from the airport and about an hour from La Fortuna. It's right in the middle. Uh, it's a vegan experience. My fiance is gluten-free and vegan. Uh, love, we love animals, love cats, so uh, we stayed our we stayed the last three days of our trip here. Here's our lands in love eclectic room, freshly cleaned, very eclectic. And painting everywhere, and painted. including the floors. Including the floors. It, it's a it's a three star hotel. It's not really like this bougie place. It's for a different kind of person. Like it's a different kind of place. This is Sarah's bed. The focus is not necessarily on the rooms being beautiful and immaculate and things like that. Uh, although there is a lot of like touches, like you can tell that people did a lot of work with uh, to this place. Like the floor is painted, the walls are painted, things like that. But this place is all about the animals. Uh, the food, the vegan food is fantastic. Regardless if it's vegan or not, it was some of the best food that I ever had in my life. Um, but this place is all about the animals. Uh, I think it's an animal love rescue shelter. So this place is part of, or animal love rescue shelter is part of, uh, it was raining outside, I think. Was it raining in this clip? I don't know, it just looked really nice outside. Um, it's always hard to kind of get, get that in the camera. Uh, and there's a frog there too. He looks just, he looked just like a rock. But anyway, this place is all about the animals, so it is a rescue shelter. It has, I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe about 500 animals. And these people work so hard with these animals. There were some howler monkeys that sometimes they miss with the dogs. One thing that you will uh, experience when you first get there is the barking. So there's a lot of dogs, there's dogs and cats, there's other animals, but you will hear the dogs and things like that. It can be a little overwhelming at first, but uh, it's just a different kind of place. Now you can go see the dogs. You can actually help out. You can um, walk the dogs. So that's what we did three times a day. Um, or do, do we do it twice a day? We did it twice a day uh, in the morning. I think maybe around seven or seven thirty. We would we would go and walk the dogs. You can just walk from the rooms to you know where they keep the dogs at and things like that. And you can help walk them. Of course, this involves picking up poop, but uh, I mean. You sort of build a bond, a bond with these little dogs. I have my cameras. I take photos everywhere I go. So there'd be these photos splattered in there. But you walk the dogs, you help out, and you really fall in love with these animals. Uh, you know, on one hand, it's sad to see all these animals, but at least they're together, like they're in a pack. Uh, I'll show you all of those. those. Those will be coming up. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful flowers and things on the ground. So I had a good time with my camera. I'm using a Sony a7 IV with a tamron 50 to 400 lens so i always take a lot of photos uh anywhere anywhere i go this is my fiance chasing after this cat so she can give it some pets uh like she always does uh, and i would also go out at go out at night and just try to find you know things to photograph uh there's cats in like the main reception there's these two cute cats they're very nice there's a bunch of cats in the cat area, my, my fiance's favorite area, she loves cats. So you can do a tour where you walk around and they'll bring you to, they'll show you the cats and the dogs. So you can go in with the cats and you can go in with the dogs. And the animals are really, really lovely. Obviously they have all kinds of different animals. So some, you know, are, are a bit off limits. <clears throat> Excuse me, some you can go in and really, you know, and they, they, they're they craving affection. They're really sweet. All they want is to be loved on and they, come up to you and sniff you and it's really a moving experience and it kind of shows you how important this place is uh, and they're actually not doing very well right now because it's, it's a ton of money to keep this place up obviously the, there's the dogs are so cute these two were just so sweet and so loving but they have so many animals and it takes a lot to take care of them and i must say that they do a great job of taking care of them keeping these things clean their areas clean uh, you know, you, we, you're walking around and you would think that the smell would be terrible, like horrific, but they do such a good job of keeping this place clean, which is amazing with so many animals. And they have people on site and vets and things like that. And they try to, they do their best to take care of them. Uh, here's some more animals that we saw at night. 
but that's the main thing that that's the main reason you go like all of these dogs you know and they're together they're in their packs and you can take them for walks and you really start to we, we were there for three days and all, even after the first day you sort of understand how these dogs work you sort of build a bond for them like you're taking them out um, you know so they can have a little bit of freedom so they can walk around so they can just go to the bathroom out in the wild and you know it, it feels like you feel like you're really making a difference even for that short amount of time in their life so for me this is the kind of the, these are the kind of people I think this place is for personally you know I mean the adventure stuff is great they do have an adventure center which we didn't go to but these animals things like this are really why we visited this place the vegan experience and the animals we, we go because we help animals we don't we didn't go to have an all-inclusive resort we went to help the animals uh, they do try to push the adventure side but for me I think animal people are the ones that are gonna come here um, and not even just vegans just like people that love animals that want to help animals that want to help out because I feel like this place could really use a lot of help because they just have a lot of animals and the property is beautiful these are this they have dogs that have some uh, you know some issues and some problems so they take them out uh, especially bring them to the grass so they can run around um, you know these these dogs some of them have some issues with their back legs and things like that but um but they're just so happy and it's just so great to see them, you know, just enjoying life and being happy. Uh, here's the pool, which we went in once. I mean, you don't really go anywhere off of the the property. You know, it's not really it's not really like a place where you go and leave and go do all these things. So anything that you'd want to do is pretty much right there. And again, the food was outstanding. Uh, we did have one issue with the bathroom, the shower. There was some sort of leak, so it got on our floor, but we were just able to talk to them at the front desk and they put us in the room next door and uh, that was a much better situation. Here's my fiance picking up poop. I don't think she had ever picked up poop before, but after the first day, again, like you just kind of get used to it. You know what I mean? And you kind of like, you kind of feel like you want them. you like, you go out and you're wanting all, all of your dogs to poop because you, know, you want them to poop just outside. It's just normal. Shout out to John and Dory. We met them there and they were absolutely fantastic. And we're not really very social when we go out, but we love them. We hung out with them. We ate dinner with them. It was a really great time, a really special time. And it was nice to just hang out with some really cool folks and um, just kind of feed, you know, feed off of each other and what they're doing, what we're doing, and then also hanging out together and checking out the animals and having dinner. So it was a really great experience. With, and they, they were just so such like-minded people you know they were you know they were there for the animals animal lovers and to me that was one of the special things about this place is like people come together that love animals and all these people that work there they loved these animals they took care of them so well uh, and you know it's again it's it's very different it's not the La Fortuna experience you know what I mean? It's not like the five store, five star resort hotel experience. Like this is something completely different. You know, you, you just, you feel differently. You go there with the intention to, to, to help and to just give your love to these creatures that, you know, it may not seem like much, but it was nice to just go in there and ha let these animals feel loved and just be petted. Uh, you know, we have animals at home. We have pets at home that are loved all day, every day. And not that these animals aren't, they, they, they are taken care of very, very well, but you know, all animals, they, 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 they want to be loved. They want to have companionship. So it's just nice to go there and spend some time with them and really try to give them, um, you know, just try to make an impact on their life, even for the short time that you're there. And that's, that's the feeling that you get from, from this place. And going to visit and that's the feeling that you get from the workers and the people that take care of them you know it's like and i think what happened is people started bringing animals there and they got you know and they just took them so now they have you know way too many animals you know not, not enough people adopting and people bringing more animals and it's super super expensive so you know to go out and walk the dogs twice a day became a really fun thing a lovely thing that's helping out 
but it's also helping out the people that um, that volunteer there long term. They had a lot of volunteers. You know, obviously they don't have that much money to be paying people and this and that. So it's just a different experience. And you don't have to do that. You know, you can just even by coming, you're supporting, you know, what they're doing at this place. So, so here are the dogs. This was the second part of the tour. These are the guys that we had been walking, so we were kind of used to them. We kind of, you know, you get to know their personalities and how they are. You know, some kind of like, you know, they're like, they're nibbly. There's one dog that'll like, he'll like to like nibble your arm and stuff like that. But like not in any, you don't feel anything. He just likes to open his mouth and kind of put it on you. Uh, such sweet animals, such sweet dogs. Um, and it was just great to see them. And they all, all of the animals, they look so happy too. E even if they have issues or ailments, they all seem happy. Uh, they all seem very healthy. And, um, you know, they're not alone. You know what I mean? That's one of the, you know, really cool thing about these animals. I mean, when they can help it, obviously, you know, they're getting animals in. So sometimes they have to be quarantined. Sometimes they're alone. Sarah got tore up by these cats climbing on her neck. I got nice and hairy. Um, I think it was even though it was it was raining. We'd still go out. You know, we still want the dogs to do their business This is the taco bowl delicious so good Mexican bowl Mexican bowl um, More walking dogs more walking dogs uh, Sarah got a little upset, you know, because it, it is very it's, it's you know, it's sad It's very sad to you're overwhelmed at first and it's a little bit scary and you, you feel bad and then you get to know these animals and you sort of fall in love with them and you get to know them and then you, you just want to help them and you want to love them and then you have to you have to leave so it's tough morning breakfast so we we headed out i think checkout was 12 or 11 or 12 or something like that so if you're looking for a, a, a great place to have amazing food and you love animals and you want to take care of the animals and just do something different that has a different reward system you know and if you're an animal lover especially if you're a vegan uh you'll you'll really enjoy this place it might be a little overwhelming at first there's a lot of animals there's a lot going on but it'll take maybe half a day you'll kind of get into the swing of things and then once you start helping out it's just something that's really really special so this was a little spot that we found on the way. This, it's in, right next to the souvenir canopy thing. It's like a little shop. We got little uh, some snacks and coffee and stuff to bring home for souvenirs. So that was a nice little place to stop. The dog was really cute. And then we actually stopped at the Rescate, Rescate Wildlife Rescue Center. Uh, it was just on the way and we had some time. Our flight was later on, so we had some time. And we decided to stop by this place and it was actually really great there wasn't that many people there uh the the grounds were really nice the animals seemed very well taken care of and they had some really cool animals they had these iguanas that were just kind of around so you'd be looking at something and then there'd just be a huge iguana like right a foot above your head uh, but they had some really cool animals it was nice to see them um the enclosures were pretty stunning as well as far as enclosures go that it, it you know, obviously it's a tropical place, so everything's nice and beautiful. They had a decent amount of room and things like that. Um, so yeah, it was just a nice little, a nice little place to to visit uh, on our last day, uh, on our way back to dropping off the rental car, which we we had to head back to Vamos, and then our flight I think was at eight something or nine something at night. So we did have a little time. We actually stopped to eat. Uh, afterwards as well this place did have a restaurant but we didn't want to eat there uh, Sarah had a specific place vegan place that we could go to that was sort of on the way back to uh, to Vamos but again I mean we we just love seeing animals and these were you know there there was a lot of animals that there was even a few that I had never heard of before you know which which is interesting um, we didn't think I, there was only one or two animals that were in the enclosures that we weren't able to see but the rest of them the animals were pretty active or hopping around these little guys were running around uh, i would highly recommend this place as well uh it wasn't that expensive but and also it's like it's nice to to give your money to a place that's actually helping the wildlife and doing good things so i think we stayed for about two hours or so and then we wanted to stop and get something to eat after we left so we stopped at el shante 
Vegano, which is a vegan place, uh, was pretty good. I think we both got the loaded tacos, so it was pretty good. Nice little spot. And that was it. After a few hours, hopped on a plane home around 6 a.m. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, it, it was an epic trip. It really was an epic trip. Here are some photos from uh, the time at Lands in Love, just around the grounds and things like that. But it really was an epic trip altogether. Really love Costa Rica, and this was just a different. I, I can't, I can't say this enough that Lands and Love is just a different kind of place. Uh, I would say if you go there, you know, offer to help with the dogs. You just kind of go over to where the dogs are. Uh, you'll get you. You just ask for the times that they that they walk the dogs, and you can go help and do that. And I don't know. There's just something something magical about it, and it was really great to help the animals. And my fiance and I really loved it. It was a very very special time. If you want to donate, then you can go to their website and you can donate to help those animals. All right. I think that's about it. Appreciate you watching. I know this isn't my normal stuff, but I appreciate you watching and hanging out. And you know, I just I love to travel and I love to take photos and videos, and then I love to talk about my experiences. If you have any questions. Put them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer you. Shout out to Lands and Love. Shout out to Rescate Rescue Center. All right. Keep drawing. Keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.